Hello everyone welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel please subscribe to my YouTube channel, so you can join our tech family, if it is informative to you please like our video share it with your friends so they can get help with these video and don't forget to press all notification bell icon so you get regular update and don't miss our any single video. Okay, so you're ready to start launching the attack, right? Well, in order for us to accomplish this, you can use probably one of the most powerful tools out there right now. It's called Air Kraken. And Air Kraken is not just a uh, simple application. It's a suite of applications that's designed to really target in on the wireless environment. Uh, Dale, when you see a suite, what do you mean by that? Well, there's several different products inside of this particular product, and it's open source. And what's really cool is that it's basically free. It's done through a GNU or a general public license. Now, when we talk about Air Kraken, there's several different products within it, one of them being Air Basin. This is designed to go through and capture WPA as well as WPA2 handshakes, and it can act as a ad hoc access point. There's also, of course, Air Kraken itself. This is the standard weapon WPA, WPA2, PSK cracking tool. There's also Air Driverine. Yeah, I tried to say that one fast. Now, Air Driverine is actually a deprecated out of the latest version of Air Kraken, as well as Air Droppin. This is a program that we can use to issue deauthentication attacks or to break that connection between the client and the access point. There's AirPlan. This is designed to create traffic and fake authentication packets as well as ARP request injections. There's also EAS Siding. This is a nifty little tool that allows you to communicate via web encryption with an access point without knowing the web key. Other tools include AeroDumpin. This utility is used to uh, do packet capturing. It also has the ability to link in with a GPS receiver if you have one hooked up. There's also AirGraphin, which basically goes through and maps out, or I should say creates graphs based off your AeroDump CSV files, allowing you to see things like client to access point relationships. There's AeroLiven, which is another utility that's designed to store and manage password lists, ESSID lists, and then try to compute their pairwise master keys and use them in a WPA, WPA2 cracking session. We also have AirServin. AirServin is a wireless card server that allows multiple wireless applications to independently use the wireless card in a client server connection. I bet you can't guess what Air Monning does. Yep, you're right. We use it to enable the wireless NIC card to start monitoring the wireless interface and looking for different access points. Air Tuning is a virtual tunnel interface creator, and it has two different functions. One, it can allow all encrypted traffic to be monitored for the purpose of using it as a wireless intrusion detection system, but it can also inject arbitrary traffic into the network. But wait, there's more. We also have Packet Forging. Anybody want to take a stab at that one? Yep, it's used to create encrypted packets and inject them into the network. We also have TKIP Tunin. Now, this particular utility, at least as far as the time when this course was recorded, hasn't been finalized yet. But it's a utility that's used to inject some frames into a WPA TKIP network with QoS, or quality of service. There's West Siden. Why do you kids live like there's a war going on? Okay, sorry about that. I stepped into my Broadway musical West Side Story mode there for just a second. <laughs> well, West Siden has several different techniques that it can utilize to obtain a web key in just a couple of minutes. And there's web decloaking. Now, there's got to be either a Star Trek reference or a Harry Potter reference here. So this is a utility that actually removes web cloaking from a PCAP file. Some wireless intrusion prevention systems actively try to prevent the cracking of a web key by inserting what we refer to as chafe. Basically it's a fake web frame. Now if you're familiar with the military aspect of chafe it's kind of the same concept. An aircraft carries chafe rounds, which when a missile locks onto them, they shoot those off. And it's basically lots of foil or pieces of metal that are designed to confuse the missile. So in this case, the chafe is implemented and added into the air to kind of fool programs like Air Kraken. Now, there are some rare cases where if the cloaking fails, the key can be recovered without removing the chafe. But in cases where the key cannot be recovered, we can then use this tool to filter out that chafe. Then we have something called air decapping. This is what happens when you're out in the baseball field with your baseball hat on and a gust of wind. Uh, never mind. This utility allows you to decrypt 
WPA2, WPA, and WEP capture files. Now, some of these programs you may never use within the Aircracken suite. I just want you to understand that because it has so many utilities inside of it, you could say it's a sweet suite. Yeah, you get it? See how I played on that one? We hope you enjoyed the video and found value in the content. We value your feedback. If you have any questions or suggestions feel free to post them in the comments section or contact us directly by our social platforms. Thanks for watching.